Is Dr. Mora doing a meniscus repair or in other words trying to save another knee? This is what we have. We actually have a beautiful looking knee right here. At least the knee surface is really, uh, really nice. Nice and healthy. Femur, tibia. This is the plateau because it's flat. And upon the plateau lies the meniscus. That's this sort of rubbery structure. And uh, I've already actually placed a couple sutures in it. So let me show you what I got. There we go. Like this. So it was split in half. Uh, like a, a panini uh, open up here in the center like this or maybe a sandwich see you can see the gap right there there's a gap right there now a few years ago we were not able to repair these because we didn't have uh, the uh, implants that we have now back in the old days all we had were these uh, aero type of devices but now we have uh, implants like this this is a Smith & Nephew fast fix suture system right there you can see right there uh, it's a it's uh, a uh, self uh, uh, locking or self tying type of uh, suture device that can compress the gap. You see, it's, I can't fit my instrument in that gap anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'll put another one over here to close it up here, and then another couple over here to compress this uh, and close this meniscus down. And upon doing so, I'm compressing the two surfaces down upon each other. Uh, compressing it just like wood clamps do when, when doing good woodwork and eventually this meniscus is going to heal and uh, will uh, be functional again. So once again Dr. Steve Moore showing you how we are saving um, uh, knees now uh, by doing real solid uh, meniscus repairs using these very specialized state-of-the-art implants. Thank you. Dr. Moore, I just wanted to show you uh, what this meniscus tear looks like. Medial meniscus, just to give you perspective, let me back the scope up and actually let me look at, actually, uh, no, actually don't look at the knee, just look at the uh, uh, monitor, sorry about that. So, um, medial meniscus, that's a medial femoral condyle. Let me give you perspective, let me move up like this to the top of the knee. Patella femoral joint medial femoral condyle that means the inner side take it back to the to the joint there it is let me show you something else over here acl is right over here the acl is right there looks perfect outer side of the knee is over there also beautiful so what we're trying to do is keep uh, this knee healthy by fixing the meniscus rather than trimming it oftentimes uh, these tears are actually trimmed especially this one this is a cleavage tear which meant there was a gap in the tear so what uh, was done uh, previously and still actually done is uh, one of the uh, uh, one portion of the meniscus is actually cut out it's trimmed out usually the lower leaf leaflet is trimmed and when that what what that essentially does is it uh, reduces the meniscus cushion effect by about 50 percent so rather than doing that what i did here is i used uh, these uh, special suture implants from a company called smith and nephew and uh, and compressed the gap so you can't even see the gap anymore I'm not gonna put my probe in there but there was a gap in the middle there uh, and what you see are five little sutures that are holding it and over time the meniscus is going to heal itself why is it going to heal itself because before I put these sutures in I created vascular channels and I roughened up the surfaces just like a good woodworker does before before gluing two pieces of wood together so this is it meniscus repair how do I feel about it I think it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and I'm and uh, and because of that, I think there's a very high chance that it heals. You guys take care and have a great uh, day. Thank you so much for watching and sharing. Flash it out.